so here we have to find the thevenin equivalent which is seen from the a and b terminal so what we do in the first step we will disconnect this 6 ohm resistance ah, see the resistance is disconnected then va vb we have to find the node voltages uh, there are many so what is the node voltage is is a uh, there is a single voltage this is called non voltage here two voltages so the difference will give the actual vab so vab should be equal to va minus vb the difference will give the potential difference will give the voltage between a and b so we have to find the voltage at this va or this v. you can see there are two resistance are series you can use potential divider rule to calculate the voltage here and you see the current source is given which is supplying 2 ampere current you can directly you can directly means you can directly calculate the voltage so simply uh, this is 10 divided by 20 means 10 is a resistor where we have to find this resistor where we have to find the voltage so 10 divided by resist sum of the resistance is 10 plus 10 20 into multiplied with the V input so that will give me the 10 okay the next will be equal to C resistance having 2 ampere current entering like this current is flowing in this this direction anti-clockwise direction so entering like this so V equal to IR and it's kill me 10 volts so what is the voltage is 10 minus 10 equal to 0 so for RTH C just in open circuit all the current sources and short circuit the voltage sources because we have replaced them with their internal impedance so finding the RTH or R in so seeing from that terminal these two are seen in parallel see uh, if you flow the current I here like if you flow the current I see do stop if you flow the current I here this is I1 this is I2 so here you get I back these two are having different current these are in parallel so parallel is always and this 5 is in series with these parallel combination so you will get 5 plus 5 equal to 10 Thevenin equivalent